Hey, this is David, and I'm here with Adam. You mean, Delvin. Who are you? What did you do with Adam? He's supposed to be here. <laughs> He's been kidnapped. Oh no. Is there a ransom? Yeah, but it's like a dollar fifty. Eh, yeah, screw that. Let's get this thing going. One, two, three, four. So it's obvious that many people play video games, whether they play them for fun or as a hobby. Some gamers actually get paid to play video games, like sports athletes. They have fans and everything. And your next line is... I know what my line is. I'm a professional here. You interrupted me. Are you serious? I just wanted to make sure you mentioned the professional gamers. I was just about to mention them. Okay, then please proceed. Alright, so there are plenty of gamers out there. And that number continues to grow because of a number of factors, including the continuing growth of gaming industry. The success of Nintendo Wii and certain games like Halo 3, Call of Duty 4. But what many people don't realize is the science behind the video game. Not just what sci-fi elements are in the stories, but also in the technology within the games themselves. As technology evolves, the physics in video games continue to more realistically mimic the real world. For example, a game called Half-Life 2 made physics the core part of gameplay, as it made the player solve physics-related puzzles. that's just one example, as almost all games try to be as realistic as possible with their physics, with the possible exception of any game with Mario on the title. And games aren't just used for shooting aliens or fighting zombies. Games are being used to educate people in various subjects like math and science. There are simulation games the military used to teach pilots to fly or soldiers to fight. There's even a game called Audi Odyssey. That makes it possible for the blind people to play games with their sighted friends. The Wii may be technologically weaker than the other two consoles, but its motion controls are revolutionary and now players can enjoy a fun and innovative selection of games that let the player really get into the game. For example, playing tennis, baseball, bowling, or golf in the Wii sports game has the player actually perform actions they would as if they were playing the real game. Most gamers have heard enough about the PS3 and how powerful it is. The PlayStation 3 is the most advanced game console on the market, and it even has a Blu-ray high-definition DVD player built into it. But what many gamers don't know is an application on the PlayStation 3 called Folding at Home. Folding at Home is a program that any PS3 owner can download for free. The program connects the user's PS3 to a network of other PS3s so that Stanford University can use the console's amazing computing power for protein folding and other molecular dynamics. Folding at Home is now the most powerful distributing computer cluster in the world, and now PS3 users can actually help Stanford University understand protein folding and related diseases. When it comes to science elements in the stories, games are the place to go. Whether you want to play a game about space exploration and light speed travel, or maybe you're in the mood for a game that deals with ethics behind genetic engineering and gene splicing. The game that deals heavily in the ethics of genetic engineering and gene splicing is the critically acclaimed Bioshock, where the player is thrown into an underwater world where the freedom of science has gone too far. As the player explores this Art Deco inspired world called Rapture, they are confronted by horrific results of science experiments. Bioshock also had the player engineer themselves in order to survive the hostile environments, as well as decide between many moral dilemmas found throughout the game. A more recent game is the long-anticipated Spore. 
a recently released game that allows the player to live as a creature as it goes through various stages of evolution. The player begins as a one-celled organism trying to survive until they adapt and grow limbs. From there they go through a tribal phase where they hunt for food, fight other tribes, and eventually become a space exploring civilization. Another recent game called Metal Gear Solid 4 had a lot in this story about the pros and cons of artificial intelligence in a society that relies on nanotechnology for warfare. The player gets to see a possible future where everyone has nanomachines inside them and what happens when the nanotechnology loses control. These are just a few examples of how modern video games are beginning to show possible futures, moral choices, and real science and physics in their gameplay. Some games, specifically the upcoming Far Cry 2, are even going as far as to have plants and trees grow as time passes in realistic day and night cycles. Of course, there will always be games that go a little too far in their use of science in their stories. It's probably not very realistic that an unstoppable virus can reanimate the dead to flesh-eating zombies. Moan! Games will always be there to provide a quick release from the real world. But as technology continues to evolve, and games are taken more seriously as an art form, some video games will continue to push the boundaries by showing what potential video games really have. Hey Delvin, do you smell something? Smell what? My feet? Uh, no, not that. It smells like burnt bacon. Moan! One, two, three, four.